Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to another to episode three of Monster Truck Nation, the tw Nation, the Return. I'm your, I'm Tom Todd seven seven four, along with Trayman thirty nine eighty five. Good evening, folks. I hope you're all ready. Because we got ourselves a show to prepare tonight, right, Tom? Yep, racing and freestyle. So we're so we'll be looking in. So we'll be looking at that all night long. Michael, it's our last. It's the last event. Of, it's the last indoor event of the year. How do you feel? Well, I'm both excited and concerned at the same time. But you know what? It's been a good run, and I think this series has been a success. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes from here on out. Well, this is our last event indoors, because next month in April, we're going to go outdoors. There's a difference there. I know what you mean. I just tease him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last indoor show of the year. We are at the RCA Dome in Indianapolis, Indiana. And we have got a stacked lineup of trucks for you to not for you guys and get for you monster truck fans tonight. Let's take a let's take a look at our participants. And boy, all the big guns are here. Here, starting, we're we're gonna start it off with a banger right here. With a banger right here, Andy Brass, drive driving a fa driving a favorite truck to win Bigfoot. The legendary Bigfoot Eleven, may I add. With a sharp new paint job, may I add. Yep. B Bigfoot Andy Brass out of uh, Pacific, Missouri. Also alongside Bigfoot tonight is his teammate, Dan Rutte, and the Power Wheels truck. A departure from traditional blue, the Power Wheels toy colors. That is one shop paint shop. Yeah, yeah, it is. That sure is a hot truck. Pardon yeah. the pun. Yeah, he most certainly is. Also coming in, also in our full-on field of favorites is favorites is a is another driver change for the Bigfoot team. Todd Frolic will be behind the behind the wheel of the barefoot machine this barefoot machine this week. Wake Frolic really want really wants to extend that points lead. And he's certainly he's certainly got the capabilities to do it here. Fantastic. Hope he does great. Todd Frolic very serious about race about winning here in in Indianapolis and you want to talk about big guns big guns here's a big gun right here right here James T brings out Carolina Crusher that with that the old school body on the Carolina Crusher Carolina Crusher what a Crusher one of Paul Schaefer's machines also got a new paint job. I remember when it was red, yellow, and orange. Well, it's got that white flaming hood added to it. it makes the truck look absolutely sick. Keep an eye out for James Teague in this competition. 
You heard it right here, folks. And you want to talk and and you want to talk about longtime independence on this circuit? How about this guy, Alan Pizzo, bringing out the once again bringing out the predator here at it. Andy Alan Pizzo really wants to win here at Indianapolis. I know what you're thinking, kids, but uh, that is not a real life kitty cat. That is an actual breeding monster truck. We do not permit children to. Uh, Go up and pet machines that uh, could possibly hurt you. So remember, stay safe, watch the trucks, and don't go out in the field while they're ready. And and co continuing with the big with the with the big lineup, all the big guns are here. Z all the big guns are here. Zane Ratu brings out the booth. Brings out the big Ford Arrow star known as the Boogie Van. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Most of the monster trucking world knows about uh, monster trucks. There's only a select few of vehicles that uh, actually branch out into different body shells, such as a uh, Chevy Bel Air, a uh, Chevy Van, and. Even minivans, whatever yeah, will they come up with Ford next? Arrows, a Ford Aerostar minivan is what the boogie van is. And you want to talk about big guns? Here's a big gun right here, an innovator in this sport. Dan Patrick brings out the Samson truck, brings out the legendary Samson truck. He wants to take his shot at the big boys. Now that's America right there, folks. Red, white, and blue. Those colors don't. Those colors don't. Those colors don't run. They fly mighty and proud. And also making his first appearance for the first time in a while. Kirk Dabney is back in back in the overkill. Overkill, that kind of sounds like a heavy metal song from uh, Motorhead. Eh, oh well, different different sports and different professions. And I said all the and remember when I said all the big guns are here. Here's a longtime veteran, veteran of this sport, Bennett Clark. He brings out, brings out the beautiful pink Clydesdale, the the this Chevrolet out of Powder Springs, Georgia, is ready to go. Wonder if he's a fan of ZZ Top because that pink kind of looks familiar. What if it was on that car they made in that one music video? Continuing with some big guns, here's a big gun right here. One of the both the most the single most successful driver in this sport, Mark Hall, once again bringing out the Executioner Dodge. Really, really nice. Really nice looking paint job on that truck for this year. And speaking, go ahead. I said y'all can say that again. Yep, and speak and continuing with Dodge with Dodge dominance. Dominance, we have a big how about this big Indiana Dodge? Andy Hoffman bringing out the nightmare truck again. Hopefully not Nightmare Moon from MLP. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And once again, making his second appearance, appearance in three events, Brian Welch is here in the Moving Violations GMC. Wait, Moving Violations? Oh, that's a very serious offense. Hopefully he doesn't have Monster Patrol out there, otherwise he'll be getting so many tickets there. Oh my goodness, and you... You just gave the gave our next competitor in line away. Paul, you want to talk about big guns? Here's a big gun right here wanting to wanting to make an impression on his hometown, on his home state fans. Paul Schaefer is here in the Monster Patrol. Oops, guess I jinxed it. Sorry there, folks. Expect Paul Schaefer to run really, really strong in this competition. And he's got competition, but he's got some big guns to big guns to come up against. Pleasant Cook, our last but last of the our winner at our last event in the USA one Chevrolet the Chevrolet Michael this this truck really was put through the paces at Vancouver. Oh, I remember that. Quite a show USA 1 put on. Making, also making, also, so making his second appearance Appearance of the season is Kirk Frankish, the Canadian, the Canadian in the Taurus truck. Well, howdy ho there. Hope you, hopefully you brought some of that world famous. Hopefully you brought over some of that world famous uh, maple syrup from uh, Canada. <laughs> yep, and the most anticipated anticipated truck of the of the season making his very first appearance in this series in the in this era in this uh, MTM2 era of this series we have Pablo Huffaker in the grave digger well, well, well what do you know there another legend to another legend by process of elimination, that truck is here. Anyways, here's our first round matchups. It'll be Bigfoot, Andy Brass going up against Clydesdale. It'll be, then it'll be Moving Violations going up against Overkill. Carolina Crusher will take on Boogie Van. Executioner will take on The Predator. Power Wheels will take on Barefoot. Samson will Samson draws Nightmare. Moss Patrol against you. Against Taurus and USA One will draw Grave Digger. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Right now, the for the track, it's a straight. Once again, it's a straight. It's a straight line course. All they have to do is start, go over a dirt mound, throttle up, and jump over a set of five cars. Finish line at after the last car. Whoever makes across the fit, you no gimmies here. You either have to cross the finish line first, or you are out, or you are out of this competition. First, first and foremost, we have Bigfoot, Andy Brass. Out of Pacific, Missouri. Truck is a truck is a nineteen ninety-three uh Ford F one fifty. It's powered by a five hundred and seventy-two cubic inch Ford engine. It makes eighteen hundred horsepower. That's some good horses uh, when you're really uh, when you really need them, especially when you're going off road. 
His opponent will be Bennett Clark in the Clydesdale. This truck's a little bit dated then compared to Bigfoot. But Bennett Clark Bennett Clark can really really pull a rabbit out of the hat here. Here, watch out for keep an eye on him. He's but Clydesdale is owned and driven by Bennett Clark. He's out of Powder Springs, Georgia. Truck is a 1989 Chevrolet. It's powered by a 542 cubic inch big block Chevrolet engine. It makes 1,425 horsepower. I once had a truck that had a uh, engine block like that once. I held time to catch up. Anyways, we are ready ready to get our first showdown underway. Bigfoot against Clydesdale. Trucks are staged. Oh, and man. then they go. Boss the cars, it's Bigfoot. Clydesdale didn't quite make it over. Clydesdale got a little bit out of shape over the cars there. Oh, Clydesdale did not hit the second jump. He is DQ. Nope, he did. Yeah, there's a look. Yeah, there's, yeah, the uh, MTN officials really looking at this tape, look, looking at the same tape we're seeing, and yeah, they're gonna call, call, call DQ on Clydesdale. Clydesdale is disqualified for not hitting the second jump, Michael. Michael? You could just see how big you could just see how big but easily easily just put the pedal to the metal and easily jump right yeah. up and headed straight down the, to the finish line. That was almost as legendary as when he pulled up that legendary wheelie that one time. Yep. Andy yep. Br so Andy Brass so uh, takes the win in Bigfoot. He'll advance into the quarterfinals. Clydesdale disqualified. Sorry, Clyde. Better luck next time. All right, our moving on to the next to our next matchup, a couple of Indiana boys bat, gonna battle it out or, out here, a Ford and a GMC. Oh, uh, this is really starting to get intense, folks, and it ain't even halfway. Yep. For next up is Brian is the moving violation. Brian Welch out of Griffith, Indiana. Truck is a 1996 GMC Sierra. It's powered by a 572 cubic inch Keith Black Hemi that makes 1,600 horsepower. Wow. His opponent will be Kirk Dabney in the Overkill Ford. Kirk Dabney out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Truck is a 1997 Ford F-250. 
Oh uh, yeah, the F series of four trucks really is popular, especially nowadays. Oh really? yeah, oh yeah. It, its engine is a 572 cubic inch Ford with that puts out 1600 horsepower. Very impressive. I'll do say so myself. Yep. And now, and bi now be because Bigfoot actually made it into the second round, Bigfoot actually get actually gains points and will and could potentially move up a spot here. So we got to keep an eye on our po on the point standings as we uh, go al go along. Speaking of the point standings. I believe we should take a look at them and see how they look coming into this event. Good idea. Wrong one. All right, here we go. Barefoot still on top. USA won in second place with 500 points. Monster Patrol's in third. Equalizer after that strong showing in Vancouver is fourth. Rampage is in fifth. Bigfoot dropped back to sixth place. Good thing you caught that just in the nick of time. So that's going to be... So with Bigfoot moving on into the quarterfinal here, it's going to be a... Fan, it's going... It look, Bigfoot looks like he's in for a strong showing tonight. Got to keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on Andy Brass. You can say that again. Anyways, Overkill and Moving Violations are staged. Here we go. And oh my goodness, Brian Welch absolutely blowing. Oh, Overkill away. away. Wow, their the, their times is actually not that not quite that bad, not quite that far off. Just uh Brian Welch got a better reaction time than uh, Kirk Dappy did. Well, let's take a look at the replay and see what the captain has to say. It flew over the car. Now let's look at now let's look at Overkill here. Hmm. Overkill didn't do do that bad of a run either. Looks like he gone. Looks like he let his tail get up a little too high. Yep. Got a got a kick off the ramp coming off coming over that uh, five car jump there. So moving violations moves on into the quarterfinals. Wow, it isn't even halftime yet, and. Already, we're starting to see some uh, pretty incredible, pretty incredible drivers not wanting to uh, be left out. They're putting on their A game. Yeah, they certainly are.
Certainly are. Next up, Carolina Crusher up against, up against the Boogie Van Truck. That kind of reminds me of a joke, Tom. What do you, what do you call, the, or no, what type of car does a ghost drive? A ghost car? A Bugatti. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> pun the pun there, folks. Just had to. Yep, anyways. Anyways, next up, Carolina Crusher taking on Boogie Van. A good Chevrolet, another good Ford versus General Motors matchup here. Carolina Crusher is being driven by J James Teague. He is out of Portage, Indiana. Truck is a 2003 Chevrolet. Truck is a uh, five, 572 cubic inch big block Chevrolet. Makes 1,600 horsepower. James Teague, really. James Teague could be, is planning to run the full series. Try Is, is going to try to run the full series this year. So we'll see how that works out. Hey, if he's got... Hey, it's got. <clears throat> hey, it's like a. Uh, it's like lying a front lawn. Or, sorry, let me rephrase that. It's like uh, taking care of a front lawn. If he's ready to mow, then he's ready to go. Yep. His opponent will be Zane Ratu in the boogie van, Ford Aerostar van. Pretty unique. Pretty unique looking vehicle indeed. Ratu is out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Truck is a 1995 Ford Aerostar van, as mentioned earlier. However, the engine, however, this uh, the power plant on this truck is a little bit different different than the original boogie van than the uh, Pan Vale's boogie van. Uh, this this the engine on this truck here is a 526 cubic inch. Big block Chevrolet that makes thirteen hundred and fifty horsepower. That is incredible. So, so a big, huge power difference between these two trucks here. One could, one horsepower could mean the uh, could could possibly mean. The, uh, what the outcome is. Yep. That's what it'll be. And because this is a straight line drag drag course, uh, reaction time's going to be key. Because, and you got to do a negotiate a little a little uh, dirt hill before you get to the set of cars, and that, and believe me when I say it, that's going to be key. Then let's kick the tires and light the fires. All right. Let's... Trucks are staged. Carolina Crusher and the Boogie Van. And yes, folks, folks, I had my uh, face cam, had my face cam on on after the introductions. I'm, I apologize for that. Usually, I don't. Uh, I usually don't. Uh, Show that during after the introductions. Look on the right side, Tom. The ladies love uh, a man with a little fuzz on his beard. <laughs> Anyways, Carolina Crusher and the Boogie Van Truck. And there they go. And the, and they're off. Oh, Crusher looked look, he looked like he really put the power down. Two tenths of a second made the difference there. Lucky there, folks. Carolina Country is the winner. James Teague showing showing that he has what it takes to run this series. We're gonna keep an eye on it. We should keep an eye on him all year long. Woo! That what let's, a run that was. Let's get on down to the replay and see what happens. Just, what a run for 
James Teague right here. Indeed. Let's look at James that's doing the cookie bag right here. The two didn't have, didn't, have, didn't have that bad of a run either. They did a little power wheelie coming off the final jump. Yeah. We'll have to keep an eye on Boogie Van Wendy when we get the free to the freestyle competition later tonight. Hell yeah, I'll remember that. Anyways, Carolina Crusher moves on into our quarterfinals. Way to go there, Carolina. Uh, just out of curious, Tom, is Carolina Crusher from uh, North or South Carolina, or is he from both Carolinas? Uh, the... When Gary Porter uh, constructed the first ever Carolina Crusher truck, um, the, he was uh, sitting. He and a friend of his were uh, coming, was uh, sitting in the in there in his garage trying to come up with the name of name for the truck. And his and a friend suggest and the, a friend of his actually suggested the name. He said, you're from North Carolina, so why don't you name it Carolina, and you crush cars, so why don't you name the truck Carolina Crusher? And thus a legend was born. And, uh, and Gary Porter Porter did fed, did just absolutely fantastic with, when he drove the, drove the truck. You got that right. He actually, well, he actually won the uh, Penta Points Champion Point Series Championship in 1991 with Carolina Crusher. Fantastic, fantastic. Anyways, back to the racing competition. Back to our side-by-side -side drag racing competition here. We have execute. We have a Dodge and a Kitty matching it up right here. Executioner against Predator. Very very fascinating. Mark Executioner is owned and driven by Mark Hall. He's out of Champaign, Illinois. Truck is a nineteen ninety nine. Dodge Ram. It's uh, powered by a 572 cubic inch uh, Chrysler motor. It's it make it puts out 1550 horsepower. Mm mm mm. Now that's uh, now that's a bunch of bald eagles. Predator, on the other hand, he's. His opponent will be the Predator. Alan Pizzo driving Predator. And Predator is out of Brentwood, Tennessee. Truck is a Chevrolet Kitty concept. Engine is mm. a 557 cubic inch Keith Black Hemi. It's, it, may, it puts out 1,500 horsepower. So these two trucks about even on paper. Looks like we might have. Looks like we might have uh, either. Looks like we might have uh, either one over the other, or quite potentially a, uh, <clears throat> or quite potentially a duel. Or no, what's the proper term? Draw a draw. Looks like we may have one or the other, or a possible draw. Well, we're about to find out right here. Predator and the Executioner. Mark Hall does, and let me tell you something, Mark Hall does not lift. <laughs> Mark Hall will let it all yeah. hang out here. All right, Mark, give us your stuff. All right, trucks are staged.
And they're off. And what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Oh, what happened to the other trip? I think it, I think Predator missed the I think Predator, just like Clydesdale, missed the second missed the set of cars. Ooh, what a shame. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Yep. Got out of shape, missed the set missed the missed the set missed the stack of cars. Let's keep it together. Ooh. Predator disqualified. Mark Hall and the executioner moves on. He's going for the championship in this series this year. He definitely has his A game on, I'll say that. Predator DQ. And we are halfway through round number one. Incredible. Let's see what the second half of round number one brings. We got Power Wheels going up against Barefoot. Power Wheels, Bigfoot's team truck here at here at the RCA Dome tonight. Well, how about that? A legendary monster truck and a legendary car and our legendary company that's known for building the best diecast cars uh, owned by anybody. <laughs> Anyways, Power Wheels is 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 a Bigfoot team truck. It's driven by Dan Runte. The, he's out of Pacific, Missouri. Truck is a 1995 Ford F-150. It's powered by a 572 cubic inch Ford engine. Puts out 1,800 horsepower. His opponent will be Todd Frolic in Barefoot. Our series point leader as of right now. Well, you may never know. This next race could be the judge of that. Yep. Barefoot is driven by Todd Frolic. Team is based out of Pontoon Beach, Illinois. Truck is a 1997 Dodge Ram. It's powered by a 572 cubic inch Keith Black Hemi that puts out 1,600 horsepower. Now that sounds fantastic. Dan Runty, just Dan Runty, really, if Dan Runty's gonna get a good, need, needs to cut a good light on Todd Frolic if he's gonna beat him today because Todd, Todd Frolic, really. Te actually got a test run on this track and he's show and he has shown he's gonna be really hard to hold tonight. <laughs> you hear that everybody? You best put your ba you best put your A game back. You better put your A game on. Yep. Anyways, here we go. Barefoot and power wheel. Oh, Barefoot really got a good light. Barefoot, I think, is going to win. Man. Looks like you were right. Barefoot, a 4.55. Power Wheels, a 4.87. Barefoot takes the victory. Way to go there, Barefoot.
So the banner will now go to the Bigfoot truck as Andy Brass is the only Team Bigfoot truck to advance into the quarterfinal round. Let's take a look at the instant replay. Aerosmith got that really big hook that we're used to seeing from him. The Dodge truck flag flying off the back back this weekend. Crawling through. Looks like he's going to be hard to hold today, Michael. And let's look I'm at Power Wheels in front. Dan Rusty has to be happy that he just made a legal run. <laughs> Anyways, Barefoot advances on. Man, we're not even halfway yet, and then we're... Oh, wait. We already are at the halfway point. Never mind. <laughs> we're half... We're over halfway through round one. I uh, see that thing. We'll come up next. Alright, first, we got a good pair of independent trucks right here. Dan Patrick in Stampson, the big Chevrolet, showing he's going to be hard to hold, could, sh could potentially show us that he's going to be hard to hold today. His truck kind of reminds me of Hollywood Hogan. I wonder why. Must be the arms. <laughs> Possibly. His opponent will be... The Nightmare Truck, Andy Hoffman, out of Kansas City, Missouri? Nope. Andy Hoffman out of Indiana. Anyways, before we get into this race, let's take a look at, let's dive deep into these two trucks here. Dan... Sampson is owned and driven by Dan Patrick. He's out of Kingston, Ohio. Truck is a 1997 Chevrolet with the R, including with with uh, the uh, car, including the arms. See, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you call a good workout. <laughs> yep. Truck is powered by a 560 cubic inch. Keith Black Hemi that puts out 1,500 horsepower. Definitely a very powerful engine. His opponent, his opponent, a nightmare, is owned and driven by Andy Hoffman. He's out of Huntington, Indiana. Truck is a 1996 Dodge Ram. It's powered by a 557 cubic inch Chrysler Hemi. Makes 1,500 horsepower. Now, now I know on it says hey, there's two type uh, on paper there. It says there's two types of Hemi with the Chrysler Hemis and the Keith Blacks. Basically, these two basically these two motors basically have the same design. Very, very, very incredible. So, so on paper, these two trucks are about even. We could potentially have another tie. 
and it's all good. It's good. And the winner of this race is going to, to is going to have the best re is going to be determined by reaction time by whoever gets off the starting line first. Let's see who it is. Trucks are staged. Oh, Stanton really putting the power down as Stanton going to take the victory here. And it looks like they won. Sampson will take on Barefoot. Nightmare to Nightmare broke. Of course, we're being told. Oh dear, that can't be good. I just got a report from the bay. Sounds like once Barefoot, or sorry, it was something like Nightmare around. Uh, when Kapoom turns out the tranny got overheated. Oh, jeez. That's a tough break for Andy Hoffman and Nightmare. He's going to have to get that truck ready for freestyle. Oh, man. Here. Now, next up is a man who really wants to put a strong showing for his home state fans, and that is the Monster Patrol. Mm -hmm. A real classic. Yep, and he'll be taking taking on taking on one of the original monster trucks they call the Taurus. Taurus is and and I've and we've talked about the Taurus truck before. This truck is being put through its paces on some of these tr and so at some of these venues we've been to and he had a truck that arguably isn't supposed to be here but here he is anyway and wait this is a steel bodied heavyweight truck and this truck this this thing is hard on Kirk Frankish this thing, I bet, is hard on Kirk Frankish's back. This thing weighs 17,000 pounds, folks. It may be a monster, folks, but it is, in reality, a pickup at heart. <laughs> yep. Anyways, let's, before we get into, as these two trucks stage, let's dive deep into these two, two into what is essentially a mismatch right here. We have the Monster Patrol, owned and driven by Paul Schaefer. He's out of Portage, Indiana. Truck is a 1997 Chevrolet. Uh, at the heart, the heart of this thing is a 1500 horsepower, 572 cubic inch Van Sinus Chevrolet engine. And I say Van Sinus Chevrolet because that's who built the motor. Of course. It's a can. Chevrolet motor built by Donnie Van Sinis. Now that is incredible. Oh my goodness. I'm never going to get over this. The Taurus is, dri is, oh, is driven by <laughs> Kurt Frankish, he's out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Truck is a 1986 Chevrolet. It's powered by a 454 cubic inch big block Chevrolet that puts out 1,200 horsepower. Holy moly! Yeah, that's a lot of power for a little motor, but you gotta, but you gotta remember this truck. This truck is a very is very rigid. 
very very rigid and very heavy it weighs 17,000 pounds it could have stiff suspension too yep and while with boss patrol it weighs 10,500 pounds It could make or break the round. We should see. We, yeah, this we're is going to be. Thing. This is going to be an interesting race. Trucks are staged. And they're off. Oh, I think car has got the better start, but here comes Paul Schaefer. Ow! Oh. How in the world? I have no idea, Tom. We better go to the replay and see what just happened. But did cars get over the set of cars? No, he did not. Cars did not. It just went around the final jump instead of over it. He is completely. He is not going to win. Monster Patrol moves on, but let me tell you, this was probably not the way that Paul Schaefer wanted to move on. Yeah. Oh man, tough break for Kirk Frankish. You have to hit that stack of cars or else you're going to get disqualified. You have to hit that ramp with both front tires up and over the first car or else you're going to be disqualified. That's just that's just the way it's going. That's just that's just what the rule is and you have to have yep. both front tires up the ramp onto that first car and Taurus did not do that. So he is not going to be credited with this win. Monster Patrol advances. We don't make the rules here, ladies and gentlemen. Only the original founding fathers of the uh, Monster Truck Sport do. break for the Taurus truck. Anyways, last race of round number one right here. USA won. So who do we have for the final or first round uh, ending? The final race of the first round. We have the USA one taking on the Grave Digger. Both Chevrolets, both legendary trucks here. Both legends indeed. Going up against Pablo Huffaker and Grave Digger. Let's take a look at Grave Digger first. Grave Digger is uh, owned by the by uh, SRO Pace Motorsports. Truck is a it's driven by Pablo Huffaker.
truck. He, the team is based out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Tr truck is a 1951 Chevrolet panel wagon. Not bad. It's powered by a 540 cubic inch big block Chevrolet that makes 1,400 horsepower. Very, very powerful. Now, USA 1, on the other hand, is driven by Pleasant Cook. Truck is owned by Everett Jasper, or created by Everett Jasper, rather. Team is, ba team, team is based out of Ham Lake, Minnesota. Truck is a 1988 Chevrolet. It's powered by a 572 cubic inch big block Chevrolet engine that puts out 1,500 horsepower. Now that is incredible. Anyways, USA 1 taking on the Grave Digger. USA 1 was our finalist, was our runner up in the actually was our winner, actually was our winner in the racing in uh, Vancouver. So, she's trying to back that up. But she's got a tall, but it's going to be a tall order to really get your to really run against the Grave Digger. She knows she can't well, they know. Well, she knows she can't. Pleasant Cook knows she can't lift because Pablo Huffaker sure isn't. It's going to be a battle. Trucks are staged. Coming around, it'll be Grave Digger. Two tenths of a second. Let's look at USA One. Oh, USA One all over the press. Oh, she turned the truck over. Oh my goodness, Pleasant Cook from winning at Vancouver to flipping the truck at Indianapolis. Gosh. Pablo Hafaker takes will take the win here. And that lead and that leads us into the quarterfinals. It'll be Bigfoot against Moving Violations, Carolina Crusher against Executioner, Barefoot against Samson, and Monster Patrol up against the Grave Digger. Neat. So let's get right into the quarterfinal action here. First up, Bigfoot, Andy Brass taking on 
Moving violations, Brian Welch. These two trucks are about even on paper, Michael. What do you who do you think is gonna win? Bigfoot or moving violations? Could be either one or the other, the yin and the yang. Though knowing these though knowing them, I think it could be possibly grave digger. Who knows it, Mike? Who knows? Only one way to find out. Oh yeah. Bigfoot and moving violations. Trucks are staged. Huh? Coming around, and it's the butt. Ow, Bigfoot won. Or technically speaking, should we call it barefoot? Two, or no. Or no, I mean no. of a second. Bigfoot moves into the semifinals. I was going to ask, should we call it Bigfoot? Or technically by its paint scheme, Wildfoot? <laughs> it's big. It's the. It's the. Big. It's it's the bit it's the wild I will to be fair it is the wildfoot paint scheme but it's got the bigfoot name on the side to side tonight. Ah, gotcha. So it's so so it's referred as Bigfoot. Next up, Mark Hall of the Carolina Crusher taking on Mark Hall and the Executioner, I rather, excuse me. Well, taking on James Teague and the Carolina Crusher. Dodge versus Chevrolet, Michael. Chevy versus Chevy. It's probably going to be a very tough choice. Anyways, anyways, Hall is staged. We are ready to go, and we are ready to go. Oh, oh, and this, oh, man. Oh, man, that was a really close, close finish. Mark Hall got Mark Hall really got a good reaction time right there. What happened? What happened? The screen and the gate just went back and I heard a lot of tapping on the ground like you were slamming something. Huh. Is my can you still see the share screen? Oh yes, I can still see it. All right. And it looks like, and it looks like bear, and it looks like barefoot one. Executioner actually. Oh right, sorry, it's the paint. Executioner really got a good walk right here. We'll we'll see the replay. Just perfectly square over the ball. James D didn't do that, didn't do so bad either. And he and he almost pulled out the victory there, I think. Good run for the kid.
So Executioner will take the victory. Will take the victory here. You still with us? I'm here. I'm here. All right. And that completes one half of the semifinals. Now, we are getting ready to get into it right here. Barefoot and Samson. Todd Frolic and Barefoot up against Dan Patrick and Samson. Yes. This is going to be a really close race. Oh, yeah. Both of them powered by Keith Black Hemis, and this is so. This is really going to be really close. Whoever gets the whoever gets the whole shot is going to be the winner. Anyways, here we go. Have a time breaker. Go ahead. I was just saying they could have a potential tiebreaker. Yep. Anyways, barefoot it could be barefoot versus Samson. Oh man, barefoot got the best, got the better hole shot. Uh -huh. Did he get the cards? Barefoot, your winner there. Both of them with good clean runs. Samson didn't did, did not have a very bad evening. He, bad evening. He will be back for he will definitely be back be back and will be a contender for freestyle. Keep an eye on him. You got that man. Anyways, Boston Patrol against Grave Digger up next. And this will round out our quarterfinal round. And this, I think, will round out our quarterfinal round. Paul Schaefer and Monster Patrol against the Grave Digger. Uh -huh. Monster. Monster Patrol and Grave Digger trucks are staged. Oh, 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 Grave Digger got Grave Digger, I think, got the better start. Very and Grave Digger has won. Pablo Huffbaker, very smooth. And with the and with Bear, Bigfoot and Gravedigger being on opposite sides of the ladder, we could we th these two names could potentially meet up with each other in the Monster Smash final. At, Final coming up a little coming up in just a little bit. You're right. Anyways, semi-final action now. Bigfoot against Executioner. Andy Brass behind the wheel of Bigfoot. Taking on Mark Hall in the Executioner.
Now this has been a been a rivalry that has been, that has dominated the independent scene for a long while. Bigfoot team Bigfoot up against the Hall brothers. Every time these two names meet, it's a big race for the Hall brothers. Very, 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 very impressive engine setup. Yep. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a really, really close race. Mark Hall pulls up to the line after playing a little mind games with Andy Brass. The edge is going to be pretty exciting, folks. If you all yep. need to go to the bathroom, now would be the wrong time. Oh, yeah. Anyways, anyways, here we go. Bigfoot and Executioner. It's just gonna be a real pop run. And begin. Oh, man. oh, Andy Brass got the whole shot. Andy Brass takes the win. Oh, man. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Bigfoot. Bigfoot will advance into the Boxster Spash Final. This is, man, this is going to improve Bigfoot's performance in the, man, what a difference this is going to make when the points shake up. Who knows, Bigfoot might be going up with one of his, uh, Fierce one of his fierce competitors could be his mutual competitor, could be his no love, no hate, just business partner. It's only going to only the second race will determine that. Yep. Barefoot against the grave digger. Pablo Huffaker driving the grave digger. Barefoot and Grave Digger. Semi-final action right here. Whoever wins this meets Bigfoot in the se meets Bigfoot in the Monster Smash final. And come on. It's a I don't know. Thing. Barefoot got it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Pa Pablo Huffaker had a tough time getting off the line. Barefoot takes the victory.
ball and kept his foot in it. And Huffaker, Huffaker, I think, was only in two-wheel drive, Michael. Holy cow. Wow, great. Mechanical woes bite the grave digger again. Wow, what a shame. It'll be, it'll be Bigfoot and Barefoot in the Monster Smash final. Oh boy. Anyways, here we go. The Monster Smash. It is time for the Monster Smash final. Andy Brass driving Bigfoot going up against Todd Frolic in Barefoot. Hold on to the seats of your pants here, folks. Because this is about because this is about to be our epic final showdown. Mind you, there's still the, the event to freestyle, but still, whoever wins this race will be determined to be the champion of Monster Truck uh, of Monster Truck Nations indoor Monster competitors. Monster, whoever it'll be the there will be a points champion being crowned. A points champion will be crowned at the end of the year. Barefoot your points leader. It'll be a huge, it'll be a huge deal if Andy Brass can knock him off here. This will, if it, if Andy Brass can knock him off here, this will be a huge break for Andy Brass in the points situation. Anyways, here we go. Final race of the night right here before we go into freestyle. There we go. It's Bigfoot. Andy Brass has done it again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have our new points champion, and it's been speed for us. Man, what a help this will be, be for Andy Brass when the points shake up later tonight. Oh, man, ladies and gentlemen, we have... Look at, look at, man, Andy Brass, great as an arrow, right? Let's see how have the barefoot. Barefoot lost the lost the, something went away in the steering. He did not hit the set he did not hit the set of cars. That'll be a DQ, but it doesn't matter anyway. He was already beat. Yep. Oh boy. I Andy just got grass. The the team big team Bigfoot will do some celebrating Brayton tonight. Andy Brass, your champion in racing in the Monster in Monster Truck Nation tonight. What? What's that out? He was? Oh boy. I just got a I just got a report from uh, our from our truck moderator, Al the Cow. He said that he said that that uh, that ran in that barefoot did, it dislodged his engine and caused fluids to leak out and overheat the engine oh geez they're gonna they he, they're good they're gonna get that truck ready for freestyle i think <laughs> hopefully they brought plenty of spares okay freestyle what everyone loves uh you got about one minute to do whatever you want.
But you have to remember, folks, if you want to get some snacks, now would be a good time before freestyle begins. Yep, and we're going to go on a little bit of a break, so we'll see you so we'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, here we are about 20 minutes, 25 minutes later. We are getting ready for the freestyle competition. Isn't that right, Michael? You got that right, Tom. This is where each and every monster truck gets to have a uh, chance at some extra points. Now each truck will go, will, now these runs will be a timed run. Each run will be timed at a period of about a minute and a half. Only like 10, only to, only, only about 10 or 12 trucks uh, Trucks are going to go out because of because of some breakage. Which is true. First up will be Brian Welch and Moving Violations. All righty, let's see what he does. Start when he hits the first pop of the gun. And that was his first obstacle. Ooh, almost didn't be horrible. Nothing over that big uh, pile of dirt right there. Ooh. Almost turned the truck over. Oh, nice sky wheelie right there. Nicely done by Brian Welch into the wall. Nicely up and over that box fan. There we go. Nice big leap there. Yeah, that was certain, most certainly was. Almost turned the truck over again right there. One of the many things that comes with this sport. Yeah. Up and over the cars again. It did wipe the air off of them that time. Clock is about to expire, and that will end his run. Not a bad run for uh, a first run, so. 
Yeah, not bad at all. Let's see what the scores are going to be. Scores are going to be, scores are going to mount up to a fifteen. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not a bad run for the, and I believe both most of that points out of that fifteen actually did come from. From uh, launching it over that box fan. You got that right. Nightmare coming up next. Fox will start when he hits his first jump. And that was his first jump. Oh, nice air open over the thrust bar. Nice sky really nicely done. Something we haven't seen before. Oh, hitting the oh, hitting the box van the other way. Oh yeah. Dirt mound right there. Oh, now he's trying to bust it into a donut. This scores points. That scores mm -hmm. points. Coming up, coming up to make a drive like that. Judges are going to be impressed with that. over the cars again. So he's going after the box fan again. Nice air. And that will conclude his run. Yeah, I think uh, Nightmare is going to take the lead right here. Right here. Let's see what the scores say. And the score is going to, and for the score of Nightmare is going to be, ooh, this is, it's going to total up to 21. Oh, wow. He did things nobody else had done, done up to this point. That's why he's the, that's why he's the leader right now. Not bad. Not bad at all.
Next up will be Dan Runte and the Power Wheels truck. Not bad. So let's see how he does here. Hopefully he'll do good. And that was his first obstacle. There. Here we go. The run of Dad Rutte in Power Wheels. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. dear. Roll, turn the truck over and just 15 seconds into the run. Oh man, the scores are going to be low for this one. He's got a three. Oh dear. That's all the judges can give him. <laughs> Hey, all is fair in love and war. Yep. Next up. Predator! You good, kitty cat now? <laughs> Alan Pizzo and the Predator up next. Let's see how this goes. Bot will start when he hits his first jump. Oh, he's going for the big stack. And that was his first jump. Nice air up and over the big sharp mound right there. Almost got himself in trouble. Oh, trouble over that dirt ramp. That's the, the exact same dirt ramp that got... Dan Runte in trouble. Uh oh, he's stuck on top of the. He's stuck on top of the box fan. Wow. Holy moly. Getting, it, getting over it. 45 seconds left on the clock. Oh, nice combo right there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. The car, he got crossed up, got Caddy Wappas over the car stack, and then the. And then it just kicked him over. Wow. Why the turn up there, ladies and gentlemen? Oh man, let's see what the scores are. This is gonna be scores is gonna be a sixteen. Not bad. Man. It says 
the had he not rolled over, that combo probably would have counted, you know? Yep. But hey, a 16 isn't bad. Yeah. Next up, Zane Ratu in Boogie Van. Oh boy. Hit the beginning of his run. Just barely past the wall. Up and over. Nice run right there. <coughs> oh, he's gonna try. Oh, he's gonna try it. He's gonna try it. Oh, nice sky wheelie right there. Oh, and he. Oh, he also Ooh, popped up his last lap, really. That's going to score some points right there. seconds left on the clock. Gotta do if he wants to take the lead, he's gotta do something really spectacular. And he's so far has yet to do that. Seven, six, come on, he's got one more move. And that's gonna going to conclude his run. Now, the judges were allowed to score that, that move over the uh, box fan. Ooh, not bad. Not a bad run, but I don't think it's going to be enough to take the lead. And the score is actually going to reflect my statement. Score is going to be an 18 for the boogie van. Not bad. Score to beat is a 21, and that is uh, laid down by Andy Hoffman in Nightmare. Next up, Kirk Dabney in the Overkill. Cool. Hopefully he's got some wild styles. We'll see what he has in store for us. In this two-plus-hour special for the... For the uh, MTN series tonight. Even though it's at the end of the racing, it's not the end of the show just yet. Anyway, 
is overkill. Go coming out right now. Clock will start when he makes his first move. And that was his first move. This truck's got a long wheelbase, and for a freestyle competition, that's going to be an advantage. It's going to be a disadvantage for him. Ooh, I almost hit the wall there. Yeah, he did. A couple of cars. We gotta do something that really we that we haven't seen before tonight. Oh, here we go, sideways across the car now. Almost got, almost turned the truck over. Saved it. That's gonna score him points. Thirty-five seconds left on the clock. Fifteen seconds left. And that will be his last move. That sideways across the cars there. George's judges will be allowed to score that. Not a bad run for the overkill truck, but I don't think it's going to be enough to take the lead. Oh, man, with the scores, it could look like it could be. A score is going to be a 20 for the overkill. That's pretty incredible. Let's see what the other two. Let's see what the other ones do. All right. Samson up next. All righty. Dan Patrick. Clock will start when he makes this timer. Will start when he makes this first move. Oh man, and Dan Patrick just going for it. Up and over the box fan just completely cleared it. Ooh. Oh, big air. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Holy cow. Climbs out of the truck. He's all right, but woof. That was terrible. That could have been bad. Anyways, yeah. he le he leaves to just 29 seconds into the run. Score is going to be a 9. Actually, score is going to be a 12. Just tough break for Dan Patrick.
Monster Patrol is next. Now, Monster Patrol could be one of these trucks that could be at a disadvantage. We'll have to see. Oh, I don't know. Well, we'll start when he makes his first move, and there it is. Oh, nice air off the dirt now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. 15 seconds in. Oh. Score is going to be a six. Wow. Wow. just teeter-tottered off on the edge of that uh, box van and over he went. Wow. Hazard. Carolina Crusher up next. will start when he hits his first obstacle. And that was his first obstacle. Oh, almost... Oh, man. James Teague almost got himself in trouble right there. Oh, man. He got... Almost got in trouble right there. A nice cross cut dude right there. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Spin the truck into a sharp 180 right there. 40 seconds into the left. 40 seconds left into the run. I think he's just trying to fill the full 90 seconds, which, some of, to be fair, some of these guys have not been able to do. Trying to keep it off on all four wheels. Got time for one more move here, I think. We got I one think more you're right. Here to get some air. And the judges will be allowed to score that. And that will be the end of the run for Carolina Crusher. Not bad, but I don't think it's going to be enough to take the lead away from Nightmare. Let's see. Oh, it's going to barely take the lead away from Nightmare. The score's going to be a 22 for Carolina Crusher. Fantastic work there, Carolina.
USA won crashed in racing, so he'll he she will not be able to come out for freestyle for this very special freestyle occasion. So it'll be Andy Brass and Bigfoot coming out. Oh yeah. Our winner in racing earlier tonight. All right. Like I said, even though it's the end of the racing competition, it's not the end of the show. Not at least not in this episode. Exactly. Bigfoot will be able to come out will be coming out here. Brass never really freestyled on a course like this, though so this is his first time. And the clock is, and now the clock is ticking. Oh, it's going to put the tunnels in sleep. Ton of air right there. Oh, 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 man. Talk about a high-speed rollover. Jeez. Well, our, ra well, our winner in racing will not win freestyle tonight. Score for Bigfoot is going to be a 14. Oh well, something's better than nothing, right? Yeah. At least it's better. At least it's better than not getting any points from the freestyle run at all. Exactly. Executioner coming up next. This was our, this was one of our semi-finalists. Oh yeah, remember. Mark Hall gave a strong showing to showing in racing earlier tonight. You got that right. be his introduction into the run. Holy crap, what a combo. Big sky wheelie. That's going to score a point. Another, another sky uh, wheelie to boot over the hot fan. Mark has got to show something, show something pretty spectacular here. He's got a nice flow going, but he's got to be spectacular. Oh, there we go! Sky really over the box, man. That's cool. That's close cool. points. What's he gonna do now? Oh, here we go. Cross cut across the cars, across both lanes. Twenty-two seconds left on the clock. Oh no 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 no! Oh man, he oh. goes over with just nine seconds left on the run. It was still an honorable effort. 
However, he might, he just might have done enough to take the lead. And yes, it actually is going to take the lead. Score is going to be a 25 for the Executioner. So he does beat out Carolina Crusher. Not a bad that game. leaves out one more truck, and you and everybody knows who it is. Grave Digger. Yep, Pablo Huffaker. Our last competitor to come out here for freestyle. By process of elimination. Here we go with Humble Huffaker and the Grave Digger. Oh, big air right off the bat. Yes, but he'll continue. Oh, man. Oh, man. Almost got himself in trouble right there. Do you think that kind of counts as a drift? Possibly. That may have, that may impress the judges because he kept his foot in it and saved it. Agreed. Got about a minute left to go. Oh, nice air right there. That's going to score some points. Hell yeah. Oh, he could. Oh, he could combo it up in time. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. With just 26. He, that is. That's it. It's done. It's finished. He, with just 26 seconds left. Oh, man. Quite the comeback. Oh man, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to take the lead. Scores a 23, just two points short. Your winner in freestyle, Mark Hall and the Executioner. And that will conclude tonight's event of Monster Truck Nation. Yeah, who? Oh man, what a night it has been. If y'all if y'all liked this video, please leave a like down below. May uh shout out to two shout out to two or three of my subscribers. Uh my colleague Trayman3985 here, Dr. Vol, Cloak Master 201, Double Bacon Chase Burger, and Master Caliber for your subscriptions. Guys and gals, it means a, it means a lot to me and a lot and a lot to uh, Trayman thirty nine eighty five as well. And uh, he and I cannot thank you guys enough for enough for your for your subscriptions to this channel. Without your guys' support, we we wouldn't be doing this for y'all. He and I would not be doing this for y'all. You can and say that again. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll see you. We'll see you. We'll catch you guys later in the next one. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. And for Trayman3985, I'm Tom Todd774. Thanks for joining us. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Monster Truck Nation. Until next time, folks, put it in gear, because we're out of here.